I guess we'll just get underway. Where's the best angle here? Who the fuck knows? Hey everyone. I just wanted to do a little quick check in here. Um, I'm sitting out here in the freezing fucking cold, but I've got my cup of coffee, which really helps. Don't know if you can see how cold it is because everything is so super green and nice, but it's pretty cold. <laughs> So yeah, even though it's a little bit of a different setting, I just wanted to check in really fast and give sort of an update on how the game is going and, and what I'm doing, even though obviously I'm, I'm home for the holidays. The crazy thing is that I, I really just went here for like a week or two and, and that was the plan, but um, I somehow managed to schedule my flight right before all of London closed down just now, if you've heard about all of that mess. And so now the borders are sort of closed or it might not be a good idea to go back. And that's left me with a bit of a bittersweet sort of situation where I don't know if I am going back anytime soon or if I'm here, you know? And, and obviously that's left me without access to Unity and access to the programming files and, and all of that stuff. But it might be a blessing in disguise. And I'll tell you why. One of the silly things is that lately, um, these little videos that I make, have gotten more reach and the channel has been growing like crazy which is so cool and, and thank you so much everybody for just stopping by but it also means that most likely everybody knows me as the girl who got stuck making her game which is sadly very true um, but now that i'm here and i've got some distance on everything that also means that i have that space to really get myself unstuck and really having this time with my family and, and time away from the home office is really helping me do that. Not only because of this connection to nature that I get, you know, I, I get to spend time outside, you know, in the countryside or, or in the forests and in the country of the old gods, as it were. Because once you get out here, it gives you a different perspective, doesn't it? So that's one thing, obviously, but also just having that time where I don't have to open Unity, I don't have to program, I don't have to worry about fucking for loops and, and co-routines and all of that bullshit, you know? I can actually just sit here and I can work on my script and I can build my characters and I can find those, you know, design flaws that I didn't think about before, you know? Now I have that time to really go in and just worry about all of those things and if they work on paper. The cool thing about not having access to all of this sort of technical stuff and, and the programming files and all of that is that I get to spend time doing uh, the more artsy things. Coffee break. And one of the things that's just been absolutely epic is that I've gotten to work on the music for the game or the soundscapes for the game, if you will. Now I'm, I'm getting to spend time with my family and, and they're an absolutely wonderful, creative, strange bunch. <laughs> And my dad actually has an entire career doing music and you know he, he's gotten to tour with bands that I would consider absolute heroes of mine. He sort of started out as a roadie and then he went into sound production, sound engineering and so now I have this you know amazing opportunity to work with my own dad in, in his home studio here in, in my hometown. So we've been working on that, you know, and, and it's coming along really sort of nicely. It's really fun to work with other people when it comes to this sort of stuff and, and one thing that we've noticed is that the sounds that we produce tend to be very sort of dark and heavy and horror-esque you know a lot more than i thought they were going to be it's some scary stuff things like you know i'll play you a couple things like this
Obviously we're working on, on some sort of lighter things as well. I don't want it to be completely just horror-esque all the time. I don't want people to have constant heart attacks playing this. But it all just comes down to sort of brainstorming the soundscapes and the noises and making sure that everything has like a sound identity and, and this is sort of our first ideas and I'm gonna go back home and I'm gonna throw those into the game and we'll see if it sounds good, you know? <laughs> And also it just rocks sort of working in a, in a professional studio environment, you know, that you've got like all these different monitors and we've got a setup now so that you can see the game on one monitor and then all the sound recordings happen on everything else. Um, and it's just really cool to sort of see that other side of the creative process because music is not something that I know a lot about. I played music as a kid, but then I sort of left it behind. I think I'm a difficult client to work with though. Even if I don't do music myself as such, um, I'm definitely a consumer of music and I'm very opinionated. I don't necessarily know the technical aspects, but I know what I don't like. And so that's a bit of a challenge for sure. It is so cold, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, fucking Scandinavia, man. But yeah, other than that, it's just been a lot of quality time with the script, a lot of quality time with my characters, with my world, with the game itself and, and just giving it space to breathe and honestly that was probably you know the mistake that I made before I didn't have any breaks I just went you know 100% turned up to 11 all the time and I didn't have that time to just just wait and look at it you know and to revel in the process and I'm doing that now and it rocks Definitely a bit of a different devlog, but I just want it to check in really fast now that January is, is rolling around and 2020 is over. I by no means think that New Year's means that, you know, magically the world is going to fix itself, case in point, since I'm here without a, really knowing when I'm going to fly back. But I don't know, I think, I think everything is loosening up for me and, and for everybody else. And I just hope that 21 is going to be something really special and I think we can make it something really special. So yeah, thank you so much for joining me in this freezing fucking cold and um, I can't wait to get inside and uh, top up my coffee. So I'm gonna do that and um, I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>